Welcome to the Enchanted Garden Homecoming Royalty Assembly. I'm Abby Papenfus, the head of the Royalty Committee, and I want to thank everyone for watching this assembly. Unfortunately, due to COVID, we are recording the ceremony in advance. However, I'm sure we will still make it as memorable as possible. Today, we have myself, China, and Sanaya introducing the Prince, Princess, Queen, and King candidates. Thank you for your attention, and now here is China introducing the freshman candidates. Let's start out with our freshman princess candidates. Up, oh, our first candidate is Mariana Fonseca. Mariana is involved in athletics here at Belgium. She plays volleyball or runs track. Mariana dreams of becoming a cosmetologist because she loves to make people feel better about themselves. Let's meet our next princess candidate, Rihanna Washington. Rihanna enjoys dancing in her free time. As a child, Rihanna looked, dreamed of being a teacher. Now she would like to be a cosmetologist or ultrasound technician. Our next candidate is Treasure Whitaker. Treasure plans to join the Bowser wrestling team this winter. Her role models include her granny, her uncle, and her mom. Our final freshman princess candidate is Danasia Wright. In her free time, Danasia enjoys dancing and cheering. It is her dream to become a professional team one day. Up next, we have our freshman prince candidate, Carson Ludwig. In his free time, Carson enjoys playing basketball. Carson dreams of being a physical therapist or working in the field of sports medicine. Thank you, freshman candidates. Next, Sanaya will introduce the sophomore homecoming court candidates. Our first sophomore princess candidate is Lacey Hughes. Lacey is on the Bowser volleyball team. In her free time, she also likes to listen to music and dance. Her role models are her parents, and in 10 years, she sees herself being an ultrasound technician or a physical therapist. Our next candidate is Isis Jones. Isis is on the JV basketball cheerleading team. Her role model is her mom because she has shown perseverance through difficult times. Her hobbies are cooking and writing. Her childhood dream was to be in the medical field. The final sophomore princess candidate is Sanaya Wilson. Sanaya enjoys writing, dancing, and rapping. The teacher who impacted her life the most was Miss Holmes. It is her dream to be a cosmetologist or own her own business one day. Now let's meet our sophomore Prince candidate. The first Prince candidate is Jesus Alvarado. Jesus plays on Bowser's football, baseball, and wrestling team. The teacher that motivated him the most is Miss Crabtree. If he could trade places with anyone for the day, it would be Kevin Hart because he is the same height but has money. Our next Prince candidate is Jonathan Cartwell. Jonathan plays on Bowser's football team and was a member of the 2020 homecoming court. His role models are his mother and his grandmother. His dream is to be an entrepreneur or engineer. Our final sophomore Prince candidate is Jaden Tolver. Jaden runs on Bowser's cross country and track teams. His childhood dream was to be in a professional sport, but now it is to study astrology. In 10 years, he plans to have graduated from college and will hopefully be pursuing his dream job. Thank you, sophomore court, homecoming court. Now we will introduce our junior homecoming court candidates. Our first junior princess candidate is Talissa Hughes. Talissa is involved in the Spanish club and as well as plays on the volleyball team here at Bowser. Talissa enjoys playing Sudoku, Spending time with her family and is very, who is very important to her. Her biggest role model is her sister. Her sister passed, yet she still strives to make her proud. Our next princess candidate is Kalise Savage. Kalise is a part of Bowser's cheerleading team. In her free time, she also enjoys singing and drawing. She dreams of be, being a psychologist. If Kalise could trade places with anyone for a day, it would be Beyonce. Our final junior princess candidate is Jordan Smith. Jordan is a member of the Bowser cheerleading team her dream is to pursue a career in the medical field and have a nice house and car. Now we'll have China introduce our junior prince candidate. Our first prince candidate is Simon Easy. Simon plays on the Bowser football team but dreams of playing for the NFL. His role model is his, br his big brother. If he could switch places with anyone, it would be Odell Beckham. Our next candidate is Carlos Gonzalez. Carlos is a member of Bowser's football 
and basketball team. Carl dreams of being a streamer. His role model is his brother Gabe because he has always guided him in the right direction. Our, fin our final junior prince candidate is Tyron Moreau. Tyron also plays on Bowser's football team. His dream is to play football at a higher level, level, possibly even NFL. His role model is his father. Thank you all to thank you to all our junior homecoming court candidates. Now Abby would, will introduce our nominees for the senior homecoming court. First up are our queen candidates. Our first candidate is Alicia Lawson. While attending Bowser, Alicia has been involved in cheerleading and basketball. In 10 years, she sees herself being a traveling nurse and helping people everywhere. The biggest role model in her life are her parents because they've always been there to support her. Finally, her favorite teacher at Bowser is Mr. Barabi because he would always be there to help her with basketball. Next up, we have Unique Jackson. In her freshman year here at Bowser, she played soccer, but since has been saving money for her future. Her favorite teacher is Madam Ka because she was a very caring teacher and has always paid attention to her students. In 10 years, she sees herself moved out of Ohio, pursuing a career in human resources and starting a family. Next up, we have Kamaya Walker. While attending Bowser, she has been involved in Young Women of Excellence, Top, Quiz Bowl, Cheer, and Student Council. In 10 years, Kamaya sees herself working very hard to become a vet. The teacher that inspires her the most is Miss Bell because she always pushes herself to be the best. And for our final queen candidate, we have Savannah Smith. Savannah has been very involved in her years at Bowser. She is Secretary of National Honor Society and Student Council and the President of Young Women of Excellence. She plays tennis and runs track and cross country. She is also a member of the Quiz Bowl team and Future Teachers of America. In 10 years, she hopes to be in a college working towards her future career. Her favorite teacher at Bowser is Mr. Patterson because he encourages her to stay organized and be on track at college. Now on to our King candidates. The first candidate we have is Maverick Miller. While attending Bowser, he has been involved in marching band and has played varsity football. The teacher that influenced him the most is Mr. Fritz because he has had him since middle school, has taught him a lot of great skills with an instrument. In 10 years, he sees himself graduating from college and having a nice career. The last King candidate is Amarion Dodson. While attending Bowser, he has been involved in many sports such as football, wrestling, and track. In 10 years, he sees himself in a big house with a pool, lots of cars, and being successful in life. The teacher that has impacted him the most was Mr. Jimenez because he taught him a lot more besides electronics. And now to congratulate them all one more time if the underclassmen candidates could please enter the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the E.L. Bowser 2021 Homecoming Royalty Court. Thank you for tuning into this assembly and getting to know our candidates. Voting will take place on the Bowser Student Activities Google Classroom page Wednesday and Thursday, September 29th and 30th. The crowning of the underclassmen will take place Friday during 7th hour. Each class will be able to watch their own crowning. The king and queen will be crowned during the halftime show at the football game on Friday, October 1st, when the Bowser Blue Racers take on the Woodward Polar Bears. 